electrical comparators. In the electrical comparator, the main components are there will be two coils A and B. And these two coils will be connected. So these two coils are connected uh, by some wire. And now here it is shown for the convenience, it is shown like this. And uh, again, uh, we will be connecting these two coils in a Wheatstone bridge. And there will be a galvanometer. So those parts are sh not shown here. So we are having two coils which are on a Wheatstone bridge. And in between those two coils, we are having an armature. And here we are having a plunger. So what happens is, initially, when there is no motion of the plunger, this armature will be in midway between these two coils. And uh, this midstone will be in a balanced condition. That means the galvanometer will be showing zero current. So it does not show any deflection. So it is zero current. Now what happens is, when we are inserting some objects whose dimension to be measured, uh, then the plunger will move because of the movement of the plunger this armature will have some deflection and because of the deflection of this armature uh, there will be an induced EMF in any one of these coils or uh, some properties like inductance resistance etc will change anyway the galvanometer will show a current and that current will be or galvanometer will show a deflection and that deflection will be calibrated to the movement of this plunger such that we are able to obtain the movement of this plunger or the dimension of a given body which, which was inserted beneath this plunger. So uh, we use uh, a Wheatstone bridge and uh, a plunger and armature uh, system to measure the dimension of a given body. So that's what we call that's what we call electrical combat. Thank you.